اوكي الان احنا يعني لما نحكي هايبوكسيا ف بدنا نفكر بامراض الرئه امراض الرئه احنا راح نقسمها الى ثلاث اقسام او ثلاث عائلات دي فاميليز اول عائله راح تكون هي بالايرويز وهي مانيفستد ان انكريز ايرويز ريزيستنس راح نسميها احنا كرونيك اوبستراكتيف pulmonary diseases diseases like for example على C O P D C O P D زي مثلا الانفيزيما وكمان زي الكرونيك برونكايتس for example هدول in the airways Increase airway resistance. The second category of pulmonary lung diseases are the difficulty in inflating the balloon itself, which is the lung. And this is balloon, this is lung. مرات نسميه مرات نسميه alveoli. No, it's the same. So it's some sort of restriction. You cannot inflate the balloon. So these are restricted, restricted. pulmonary diseases. The third one is manifested in the vascular bed. We say pulmonary vascular diseases. So three families, three categories. Again, the in clinical practice, 70% of the lung diseases are obstructive. 20 to 25 percent are restrictive. Restrictive like pulmonary fibrosis, idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, unlike RDS respiratory distress syndrome, whether it is A as an acute or I as an infant. And five to ten percent is vascular, vascular like pulmonary hypertension. As an example, so most common is obstructive, least common is vascular. هدول الثلاثة. Is an how in general this is an introduction to. The physiology of the respiratory system. The first lecture we describe the composition of different compartments in terms of oxygen and CO2. I did not mention nitrogen because nitrogen is just a spectator molecule. We cannot fix nitrogen in our biological compounds, so I'm going to ignore it. I did not mention H2O in different compartments because it is 47 everywhere. 47 in the arterial, in the venous, in the interstitial, intercellular, uh, alveolar, retinal space is the same, so we don't need to mention it. I only mentioned oxygen and CO2. Now, probably it is a very important question is how do we normally breathe? Mechanics of breathing. How do we normally breathe? Here we always have to go to Ohm's law. Yeah, لازم أهم قانون تذكروه في الفيزيولوجي هو قانون Ohm. قانون Ohm بيحكي إن الجريان يتناسب تناسبا تناسبا طرديا مع القوة الدافعة وتناسبا عكسيا مع المقاومة. يعني flow flow is directly directly proportional to the driving force force and inversely and inversely proportional to the resistance. إذا إحنا دائما بدنا نحكي بدنا نقول flow take flow is 
دلتا بي درايفنج فورس على ريزيستنس اللي هي الاير وير ريزيستنس والفلو ان ذيس دايركشن از انسبيريشن اند ان ذيس دايركشن از اكسبيريشن دلتا بي از ذا ديفرنس ان بريشر بيتوين اوتسايد اند انسايد اوتسايد بريشر اتموسفيريك بريشر ات سي ليفل 760 If now we would consider this as reference to us, and we consider it zero, but if you have 761, it's zero and one. If you have 759, it's zero and one. So we're going to put zero atmospheric pressure. The other, the other end of the tube that we can move in is the alveolar pressure. If this is zero, and this is zero, and this is zero. معناته دلتا بي تساوي زيرو، وزيرو على أي شيء يساوي زيرو، there will be no flow. إذا أنت to to generate flow you need to induce the driving force. يعني and you have two options. One option is to make atmospheric pressure more than alveolar pressure. This is one option. And the second option is to make alveolar pressure less than atmospheric pressure. And this is the second option. So making outside pressure more, yani more than 760, and for example, make it 760, one or two, so it is plus one or plus two. Then this is called positive pressure breathing. Is that positive pressure breathing is when you make one end above atmospheric. And this is an artificial breathing, not physiological breathing. Second type is to make alveolar pressure less than atmospheric pressure. يعني إنك أنت تعمل أقل من 760 يعني 759 يعني نقص واحد. ناقص واحد. This is called negative pressure breathing, and this is normal physiological, normal physiological breathing. كمان مرة. Two types of breathing. What is positive pressure? We need, we need to insert a tube in the trachea, in the tracheal tube, intubation, connected with a respirator respirator in the respirator we make the pressure positive so we push the air here and then we make it negative and we drive air out so here this is artificial because we are using this ventilator or respirator or resuscitator any any name is okay not to break هذا artificial بس normally احنا راحين نعمل ال pressure في اللنج بدل ما هو زيرو نعمله ناقص واحد فناقص واحد اقل من زيرو بدخل الهواء هلا احنا كيف بدنا نعمل هذا ناقص واحد نستعمل قانون بويل للغازات قانون بويل للغازات بيحكي كل ما زدت الفوليوم بقل الضغط تناسب عكسي بينهم فمعناته أنا what I need to do is just to increase the size of the lung like this إذا هلا more volume less pressure more volume هذا قانون بول تناسب عكسي بينهم and this question takes me to another question how I am going to increase the size of the lung? The lung, the man after he lung, the lung muhata be two membranes. One membrane covers the lung. We call it the visceral pleura. I have one membrane. One membrane, and the second membrane. Line the thorax, the thorax. Is it hot? So if you have two membranes, semi-parietal pleura, and this is the thorax. 
So actually, Ihna, we are dealing with two balloons. One balloon inside the other. The internal one is the lung, and the external one is the thorax. And as you know, it is more difficult to inside two balloons, one inside the other, than to inflate one balloon only. So I can if compliance, compliance, you know how easy I can inflate the lung, compliance of the lung in vivo is less or more, more or less, less, is less than compliance of the lung in vitro. Then in vitro, it's lung lung. In vivo, it's called lung juva thorax. So it's called bukhtirin. In vitro, it's called wahdi. It's the Compliance, yani, I mean compliance? Mutawa. Yani, what is mutawa? I mean, until you apply little force, you get too much change in volume. Come on. Two membranes, they surround the lung. One, and beside, and in between them is a potential space. There is not a true space, but it is a potential space called pleural cavity. Pleural cavity. Pleural cavity, the pressure in the pleural cavity, as you see, the pleural cavity is not connected with the air here. This is the airways. So it's negative, minus 4. Minus 4. Minus four. If we make this pressure minus six, then we pull the lung and force it to inflate. Is that what you need to do is to make the pressure surrounding the lung more negative. And the question now is how I'm going to make it more negative? Is that this is the lung, this is the abdomen, this is the thorax. And this is the abdomen. And this separate them, which is the diaphragm. When the diaphragm contract, it descend down, making intra-abdominal cavity less and intra-thoracic cavity more. So increase the size of the thorax makes the pressure drops from minus 4 to minus 6. The minus 6, immediately the lung will inflate. When the lung inflates, the pressure inside the lung, which is intrapulmonary pressure, drops to minus 1. And minus 1 is enough driving force to drive air inside the lung. And now inspiration occurs. So the sequence of events are the following. One, contraction of diaphragm. Three, increase intra or increase thoracic size. Three, Intrathoracic pressure drops. Is a bit intrapleural pressure we see here. Is a pressure intra intrapleural pressure decrease uh, decreases and it becomes more like in Tabushumana decreases more negative. Arba lung inflates. Hamsi. Intra pulmonary pressure drops to minus one. Sit in air enter. And inspiration sign. Inspiration or inhalation. Is an last inspiration he after the way. Can you back in my yari? A pull my yari. And Laysa, Laysa, Al Hawa. هو 
من نفخ الرئة ولكن الرئة المنفوخة هي التي سحبت الهواء يعني in English it is not the air which inflates the lung it is the inflated lung which drives air in يعني هاي بدكم تاخدوها تيك هوم مسج هاي مهمة جدا تفهموا انه which who cares first اللنج بتكبر بعدين بفوت الهواء مش الهواء اللي بفوت بكبر اللنج يعني هاي كثير مهمة هلا هون الحكي هذا كله كله بدل على انه انه الانسبيريشن انسبيريشن از اكتف بروسيس اكتف بيكوز ات انفولفز كونتراكشن اوف ديفرام الاكسبيريشن هلا احنا هيك اللنج هاي الوضع هاي هلا وين ذا ديفرام ريلاكسز سو وي هاف ريلاكسيشن Relaxation, no contraction, no muscle contraction. When it relaxes, it ascends up again, making the thoracic cavity less, and the pressure here increases from minus six to minus four, and becomes less negative, and two more. فهذا it will compress the lung compressing the lung compressing the lung هذول الفرق الاثنين بيعمل ال pressure في ال lung plus one plus one is enough driving force to force air out so expiration occurs هلا when enough air molecules leave the lung pressure goes back to zero When it becomes zero, no more expiration. Meaning, during, 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 يعني خلال, during expiration, intrapulmonary pressure is more than atmospheric. At the end of expiration, intrapulmonary pressure equals atmospheric pressure. عشان هيك صار end. اصلا ليش صار انت لانه الدلتا بي صارت صفر يعني there is no more air flow او air movement اكيد بنحكي inspiration is active في contraction للمصل expiration is passive just you need relaxation of the muscles يعني no contraction ف this is very important That only, only we have to be ATB to support contraction. Only during inspiration. Expiration is free. We don't pay for it. It is for free. And how much ATB we we spend to support the muscles? How much in our total? ATP expenditure, for example, work of breathing, work of breathing, you need ATP equals delta B, delta V. How much change in volume, tidal volume, how much change in pressure? 2% of the total ATP is utilized to support the respiratory muscle. And the remaining 98% is for the rest of the body. This is very efficient machine. It takes only 2% for itself and leave 98% for the rest of the body. Now, if we have to make too much pressure, يعني أنا سويت ناقص أربعة ناقص ستة والناقص ستة لناقص أربعة يعني اثنين. بس إذا صار بدي أعمل من ناقص أربعة لناقص أربعين صار كثير. معناته هون صار الاثنين صارت عشرين وصارت ثلاثين وصارت أربعين how much how much ATP is left for the rest of the body the patient might die from muscle fatigue fatigue يعني there's no ATP this is one cause of fatigue 